Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is July 29th, Wednesday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time and we celebrate the memorial of Saint Martha. The Gospel said, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first. Saint Martha, friend of Jesus. The sister of Mary and Lazarus of Bethany. Honored for her confession of faith in the Lord in which she beseeched him to restore life to her dead brother. Noted too for her hospitality to Jesus and her concern for the details of service to guests. The first reading is from Jeremiah. Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth. A man of strife and contention to all the land. I neither borrow nor lend, yet all curse me. When I found your words, I devoured them, they became my joy and the happiness of my heart, because I bore your name. O Lord, God of hosts. I did not sit celebrating in the circle of merrymakers, under the weight of your hand I sat alone because you filled me with indignation. Why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You have indeed become for me a treacherous brook, whose waters do not abide. Thus the Lord answered me, If you repent, so that I restore you, in my presence you shall stand if you bring forth the precious without the vile, you shall be my mouthpiece. Then it shall be they who turn to you, and you shall not turn to them, and I will make you toward this people a solid wall of brass. Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail, for I am with you, to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked, and rescue you from the grasp of the violent. Responsorial Psalm God is my refuge on the day of distress. Rescue me from my enemies, O my God, from my adversaries defend me. Rescue me from evildoers, from bloodthirsty men save me. God is my refuge on the day of distress. For behold, they lie in wait for my life, mighty men come together against me, not for any offense or sin of mine. O Lord. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O my strength! For you I watch, for you, O God, are my stronghold, as for my God, may his mercy go before me, may he show me the fall of my foes. God is my refuge on the day of distress. But I will sing of your strength and revel at dawn in your mercy, you have been my stronghold my refuge in the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O oh my strength! Your praise will I sing, for you, O oh God, are my stronghold, my merciful God. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Alleluia, Alleluia! I am the light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Luke Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. Reflection There are two things that we can do to be closer to God, apostolate work and prayer and meditation on Jesus' life and his teachings. Martha concentrated on the work while Mary gave her attention to Jesus' teachings. Both are important, but we need to find the balance to give each the attention that it deserves. We cannot do the work and forget about the teachings and we cannot just pray and meditate and not translate the teachings into action. 
Balance is the key. That's all for now. If you'd like a daily dose of the word of the Lord, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on such and other related uploads, like novenas and prayers. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.